Hello, welcome back to channel called How To. So today, um, uh, I'll just let you know uh, the difference between um, request timeout uh, versus uh, destination host on receivable. Okay. So I believe, like you know, we all are aware of. Uh, we tend to use ping command right on our daily basis to check the reachability for a certain destination or for FQDN, right? Uh, and we t we tend to get like you know either a reply or right like in our screen right either we tend to get request timeout right sometimes we get a dest destination host unreachable but um, like are we aware like you know what all these exactly means um, so that's that's where like you know I would like to let you know the exact difference between the RTO and destination host unreachable okay so to demonstrate this um, i have i have uh, uh set it up uh, like you know I, I i just configured a small lab uh for for this purpose so i have taken uh one router r4 and r5 they do have a reachability okay in r5 i have configured one loopback interface called 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. In, in R4, I do have one internal network, private network um, with, with uh, 192.168.100.0.24 subnet and I do have one VPC, uh, a virtual PC uh, configured with IP address 110, okay. So if I quickly go on VPC um, and if I try to ping um, 8.8.8.8, .8 okay, I do have a reachability, right, I am I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the reply okay so i am getting the reply right so the point here is from from vpc uh, like number traffic is going to r4 from r4 to r5 and uh, from r5 to this loop back and and, and back and forth right and, and coming uh, in, in a reverse way in a, in a reverse direction right now uh, look um so right now we are we are getting the reply so what if like you know um if i'll quickly go on uh, r4 i'll quickly go on r5 here okay i'll shut down my interface and kick one slash zero set okay so think like you know this is a remote r5 is located located somewhere uh, remotely okay like it's it's a google server or like you know google's um, uh, as, as router or whatever it is okay and um, from here our like you know we do have a uh, connectivity between r4 and r5 like logic like just, just in this example okay practically definitely like the topology would be different just to understand right so like what i did right now i have just uh, like you know um, Set it down like you know, shut down this interface, right? Gig one slash zero. So basically, which means uh, the connectivity between uh, the connectivity between the R4 and R5 is down somehow, right? And when now when I ping from my VPC, so what would be, would be the result? See now what we are getting it's request timeout right it's a timeout why there is a timeout why there is uh, like you know why why i'm not seeing uh, a reply um, something called destination host unreachable here so that's the question okay so that's that's what like you know we need to have an understanding about so what's happening basically my packet is uh, like you know my ICMP packet is uh, going to R4 from R4 it is sending out to R5 right but it is sending R, uh, sending out to R5 but it is not getting a reply right it is just waiting right so it have requested something but it is not getting a response okay so that's that's why like you know R4 is uh, uh like you know that's that's how like you know we are getting a request timeout message okay now what i'll do i'll quickly go on r5 and uh, i'll no set i'll do the no set now my this interface is up right now when i'll ping i'll, I'll get the reply right it is reachable so 
the next part is destination host unreachable right in what case we will get that message in our screen okay so i'll quickly jump on r4 right and what i'll do interface fa2 slash 0 i'll just start this interface okay now what will happen whenever you generate a ping <coughs> for the destination 8.8.8 you will get one message okay <coughs> destination host unreachable right <coughs> code 1 type 3 destination host unreachable <coughs> why destination host unreachable why not <coughs> the request timeout in this case think okay because there is a very good part here right so why it is so now i'll let you know one thing okay first of all let me go back and insert no insert this interface okay i'll go and put i'll go on my vpc and i'll generate a ping and expectation here is i'll get a reply i'm getting a reply right now what is happening is in r4 if i'll type so ip route what i have done is like basically it happens i do have an static like you know i do have configured a default route pointing towards r5 from r4 okay a default route similarly in r5 as well i have configured the same that's how i have achieved the full like you know end-to-end -end connectivity okay now what i did in first part was i went to r5 right what i did I shut it out. I just shut down that interface, right? Um, shut. Okay. I just uh, shut uh, gig one slash zero interface. Okay. Now when I'll generate a ping again, what I'll get, what I'll, what we'll be seeing here, it's request timeout. Okay. So the logic lies here. In R4, when you'll go on R4, okay. Um, it is somewhere here now I'm in R4 right now look my previous routing table was I'm, I'm, I'm having a route right for 1.1.1.2 uh, when I'll type again so IP route still look I do have a default route pointing towards my next hub address that is for R5 okay so my, my packet is being thrown out to my to the r5 right r4 is sending the packet to r5 icmp packets but it is not getting the response okay so we are getting that reply called request timeout it is requesting something but it is not getting back okay so that's called request timeout now okay what i'll do i'll uh, no set this the next case would be I'll go on R4. What I'll do? Interface FA2 slash zero. Shut. Okay. I'm just setting. I, I'm just turning off this interface. Think like you know you do have an. Uh, it's a router and like you know um, your port connectivity is uh, port connect connectivity went down or whatever it is you are having some like you know it's a fiber link and your SFP is not working or whatever it is right. It's something like wrong over here, okay, in this interface. What I did right now, I just uh, turned off this interface. I just shut down, right? Now, when I'll generate a packet from here, I'll get destination host unreachable, right? Why? This is because when you'll check the routing table of R4, you won't be getting that default route, so IP route. See, whenever this interface went down, right something is wrong so r4 doesn't have any route for 8.8.8.8 or any any default route pointing towards next hub right i didn't do any, anything i just turned off this interface and like you know it, it doesn't have any reachability towards r5 right towards its next hub ip so that's why that's where like you know we are getting this reply called destination host unreachable meaning by r4 have r4 doesn't have any route towards the destination that we are requesting for 
right we are requesting for 8.8.8.8 r4 will check its routing table right it is not finding any destination uh, ip like you no know, in, in, in its routing table neither any static route or like you know in any default route so simply it is saying uh, it is it is giving us a message like uh, it is giving us an uh, us an message called destination host unreachable i don't have any valid destination for uh, for the for, i don't have any any valid valid destination that you are requesting for okay so that's that's exactly how like you know we can uh, know the difference between the request timeout and destination host unreachable message okay so this is a very like you know a handful uh, utility the ping utility that we use on daily basis but uh, expectation here is like a lot of people's like you know have seen uh, they they don't know the exact difference between the rtu and the destination host unreachable okay so i hope uh, this uh, like you know lab uh, that i just shown you uh, was informative for you guys and if you like it share it okay and thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts put it put it in comment section below okay thank you so much for watching see you until next time